All right, we're leaving uh, Crystal Mountain Campground. Uh, it's cold, really cold. There's snow on the ground everywhere. So we're headed north. So we'll try. We're gonna try and get it a little colder than what it is because why would we want it warm? Exactly. Um, so anyway, we're headed up to Jasper. We're gonna take a short day driving. We drove all day yesterday and hiked. Well, drove half a day, hiked half a day, which is awesome. Um, so we're headed first to Lake Louise and then up to uh, Jasper. A recommendation for a brewery today. So. And there's a recommendation for a brewery. So uh, Rockbound Lake is right here on the right. And we are in the Alberta National Parks. Um, and it is beautiful, just gorgeous up here. Gray clouds today, high of 50 something. And uh, well, there's wildlife everywhere. Two layer freeway. So let's go two lane. Beautiful uh, day. So anyway, we're headed up the road. We'll see you in a bit. Heading up to Jasper. We're on a two lane road. We we opted to take this one instead of uh, the highway. And this is what we see. Lots of trees. Lots of trees. So we're gonna keep on keep on keeping on and uh, enjoy this uh, lost trail in the wilderness. There's Sean. We're at the Beau Valley Parkway, Le Promenade de Valley de la Blue. And uh, Sean had to get his picture with a bear, his daily bear picture. <laughs> uh, uh, it's really beautiful up here though. That's a beautiful little parkway. I'm glad we drove down it instead of the highway. Fog bank like that. Look at this over here. And we can't see anything. And then all of a sudden, the clouds part just enough to see these big, huge mountains looming off in the distance, covered in snow, looking frigid, ready to bite down on your very soul. Oh, that looks so cold up there. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. And then, of course, on the other side, there's a, a lake. Not too much traffic out here. It's just so beautiful. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, and I didn't catch this big monster over here. Look at that thing. Oh, wow. Okay, we're driving down the road. This is what we're driving by. Believe it or not, there's a glacier. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, so gorgeous. Wow, this is beautiful. Lake down here, Bow Lake. Oh. Okay, we're out here looking at it, at the glacier. Yeah, two bears down there. We didn't look on the other side of the hill. Yeah, yeah. hi bear. Hey bear, oh bear, hey bear. That's awesome. Yep, so we're looking at the glacier and uh, yeah, there's two bears right there. Uh, they're just eating, enjoying life, having a, having a good old time. Um, mm -hmm, yeah. We were too busy with our heads in the clouds looking up at here, and uh, we didn't even notice. We see a glacier, we see mountains, and uh, Sean looks over and he says, Oh, look, poop. wonder what kind of poop that is. And I turned to the right and I said, Oh, huh, there you go, bear poop. Mm. <laughs> so this is what was behind the clouds. So we discovered uh, when you go out of your vehicle to take pictures of glaciers and mountains, first thing, check the surrounding area and make sure there's nothing that's going to eat your face off before you take your pictures. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're in 1888. Okay. 1888? Yeah, so that's about 120 miles. This is so right when we get to 2,000 on this thing here, uh -huh. pretty much be halfway. Halfway to... Victoria. Awesome. <laughs> this is the Saskatchewan River. We're at a little campsite underneath all of this. Yeah. So there's the river running through it. Yeah. And of course, this is what you look at. Yeah, 
It's a pretty amazing, pretty amazing. It's a beautiful river. Once the snow melt is, lets this river die down a little bit, I bet this is some crystal clear water. A little trail going up the side of the river. And it is cold out today. Oh, it is cold. Oh! So we're at the Icefield Center in Jasper uh, National Park. That is a glacier, yep. It's big, Athabasca Glacier. It's gorgeous out here. Look at these mountains. Isn't this amazing? So we haven't even gotten to the inside of the center and we're just enjoying it so much, just so much. Okay, here we go. To the Glacier Trail. This trail is one kilometer long, climbs 30 meters, takes about 40 minutes in it, and one hour to hike. All right, it's only a kilometer. It's like That's two miles. Mile, huh. Well, you can't see it from here, but there's a glacier up there, and we're going to see it. So when we get there, well, then we'll see it. But until we get there, I don't know. So they were renting crampons down at the, uh, uh, they were renting crampons down at the uh, parking lot. And people were buying crampons, and they were buying cold weather clothes, and they were buying all kinds of craziness. And I, I don't know, I, 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 it's not my bag, baby. So we're going to see what else is going on. So we're hiking up to the, uh, we're hiking up, of course. And uh, we feel the catabatic wind. That's the cold air coming off of a glacier. And it sinks. And it just, it, you know, it pushes cold air downhill. Who knew? So if you look, there's a little blue sign over here. A little blue sign that tells you that in 1992, that's where the edge of the glacier was. And they mark it every so often as we were coming from the visitor center well it's not really a visitor center it's actually a place that uh, is total we're gonna we're gonna cause you tourists to spend some money they, uh, they have a bus that goes up and you can go up on the side and you don't even have to walk this and you pay $80 to ride on a bus with a bunch of smelly people and they may be smelly they may not be well oh, they smell they all smell Maybe some of them are good, maybe not. But uh, yeah, so we decided to opt out of that and just hike up here. It's only a half a mile or so and uh, enjoy a nice little walk, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, here we are coming up on 1992. And the glacier was here. And there's the glacier down there. Uh, the moraines, that's those rocks on the edge here that it is pushed up. Those are the moraines. And then on the other side of the parking lot, on the other side of that building over there, that's the terminal moraine where it ends, where all of this ice has pushed all these rocks out of its way. Isn't that cool? Yeah, hey, up there it's blue, a crazy blue color. Oh, this is really, really gorgeous. And it's really, really, well, it's kind of cold, I would say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with cold. Uh, here's the big picture. Uh, I'll let the Athabasca Glacier spills down. All right, just so you know, uh, here we are. There's another sign over there. I don't know what it says. What does that say? sign say, Sean? 2008, I think. 2008? Okay. There's a little river. There's a, you see a bus climbing that hill? That's the $80 bus. You get to touch the glacier if you pay 80 bucks. Uh, I don't know. It's cold. It's ice. Yeah, i would be all right. But I'm here. And uh, yeah, it's getting smaller as the climate warms. You can trace its retreat. Um, and what can you do about climate change? Nothing. 
nothing. That's what you can do. You know why? Because it's been happening since 1890, it's been retreating. So all the cars and factories in 1890 have produced all of this climate change. It's awesome. Oh, there you have it, 2006. The closest we can get to the glacier is 2006 because we didn't pay the $80. Look at that thing. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. That's why people pay the bucks is to get the roller coaster ride. Ah, that's a good one. We did that at the camp the other day. Yeah, we did that the other yesterday, day before yesterday. So that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. When Sean almost killed us. Uh, water has uh, carved out underneath that little bit of the exposed ice down there that is not attached to the glacier anymore. That's pretty cool. Okay, there's a sign right there. Uh, 1942, I think that one said. This one coming up on the side. Uh, you can, if you peer over Sean's cookies. Uh, 1935. This is where the uh, where it stopped. And it continues on up the road up until 1890. Um, right at 1890 was right at the highway where the highway is. Um, yeah, there's uh, it, it's interesting. Uh, they said that the the walk was blah blah blah, and it takes an hour, almost two hours. And we did it. Took our time, and it took about 20 minutes. So about three minute miles. Not too bad. Uh, and nobody had any issues. I, there was a tour group that was going up there and they had crampons and they had a, you know, they were all geared up. So uh, apparently they, they go and walk on ice somewhere, which is cool. I'm not gonna, not gonna do that though. We're gonna camp on ice soon enough. <laughs> I mean, look, there's ice all around us. We're still driving behind these trees up ahead. Though we've been following, going through this huge valley that was cut out by glaciers. You can see where it's, the ice was that tall, just pushing its way through this rock. It's amazing, isn't it? It's just amazing. Hey, Sean, do you know where we're at? I'll tell you. We're at the Wong Building. <laughs> get it? Wrong building? I get it, yeah. Oh, my God. So we made it to Jasper. Look, and these are the two uh, bartenders that took care of us. These guys are, uh, they hooked us up. We're in the Jasper, where are we? Jasper Brewing Company. These are the Jasper Brewing Company. People yell at you, people are laughing. This place is ridiculous. The beer's pretty tasty. Uh, the oat sodas are good. And uh, of course, uh, the staff is the bomb. On the suggestion of the locals, we came here to eat. Yes, it's a gas station. Sean's filling up, uh, you know, making sure that everything is nice and good. Uh, the bright spot in Jasper, Alberta. Yep, this is delicious. Nice little good home cooked meal. Um, and now we are off to, uh, well, we're off to find camping. So Sean says there's a place about an hour north of us, an hour and a half maybe. So, it'll be a quick day, but we'll be out of Jasper, heading north. Uh, oat sodas were good, so Jasper Brewing Company, thumbs up on that one. Uh, they had good pretzels. Everybody likes good pretzels. I'm sure this is what everybody is looking for in a uh, gas station. Yeah, when you're traveling through Jasper, everybody needs a good uh, gas skull. Dude, it's Pride Month here in Jasper. Look at this. They got the flags flying. It's awesome. Awesome. We're headed out of Jasper. Going to, uh, I don't know, uh, we're going north. Sean says we're going north. Anyway, the flags look really good. The mountains surrounding this wonderful little burg are phenomenal. And uh, we're going to try not to get too damp. So these are beetles that have eaten the forest and that's why all that red is dead. Uh, they only eat one kind of tree. Lodgepole pine. What is it? The lodgepole pine. The lodgepole pine. And all around Jasper, these beetles have just decimated all the lodgepole pine around here. Every other pine tree is safe, uh, except for those lodgepole pines. And, you know, as we're driving along, you see them. There they are, bright red. Uh, and those beetles are just going to town eating them. Uh, but, yeah, well, 
somebody said that this is the number one area for the next forest fire. So it's not if, it's when there's going to be a forest fire. And it's just going to burn up every single sit, every single, it's just ridiculous. It's amazing how many dead trees there are. Anyway, more later. All right, so I'm charging my headlamp because, well, you know, it's always good to have a charged headlamp because it didn't get dark until 10 o'clock last night. Yeah, I was in bed before it was dark. And tonight, I'll be in bed before it's dark again, with any luck. we got about 50 minutes left. We're just past the Pyramid Mountain. Uh, actually, we just passed Pyramid Mountain. And there's lakes on both sides. Sean found a camping site that we don't know if it's gonna be full, don't know if it's gonna be empty. We don't even know if it's gonna be there. Um, so, yeah, we're bound and determined to figure some stuff up. Yep, that was the trail. We could have just driven right up there. Anyway, we're working that issue out, and uh, and we're gonna find some camping eventually here. Uh, it says it's 53 minutes from where we are right now, uh, depending on how traffic is. Uh, the traffic here is actually worse than it is in a lot of places, but that's all right. The mountains are beautiful. And, uh, yeah, there's lakes everywhere. It's gorgeous. All right, so we drove north. And we're just short of... We're just short of... Where are we short of? We're short of... Uh, whatever that town is. In, inspiration? Hinton. Huh? Hinton. 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 We're, well, we're way short of Hinton. Um, but we found a little place. Nice little place to set up the truck. Um, it's got a little pond. When I say little, I mean it's more like a mud pit right behind me um yeah definitely a mud pit back there somebody planted a tree here uh, apparently this is right off the power lines and people haven't been up here we've we've walked around quite a bit just checking it out seeing what things things are happening uh, we're off the main highway can't hear anything heard an airplane a second ago train way off in the distance and uh so we got the tarp up the tent up I was gonna set up my tent, but eh, there's no real need to. I mean, I could, uh, but like I said, there's no real need to. So we're gonna hang out here, um, enjoy the evening, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. I know that uh, the sun didn't come down, go down until 10-ish. So it's 10 o'clock, and then it was up, when I got up this morning, it was up around 5.30, 5, 5.30, somewhere in there. So it was already light. So 10 to 5, well, that's a good little bit of sleep. Uh, the tent's really dark. The tent on top, it gets really, really dark. So if you zip up everything, you could you could sleep for days. Um, but neither one of us are big sleepers. So works out really well. <laughs>